Going new here, my name's George Ross. The channel and business is Retro Reselling. I basically buy and sell second hand, mostly goods from boot sales, auctions, charity shops, jumble sales, wherever I can get them from. I buy them cheap, sell them online for a profit. That's how I make my money. This channel is all about how I do things, giving away some hints, tips, tricks of the trade. So if that sounds like your sort of thing you're interested in, make sure you like the video, hit subscribe so you get notified whenever I go live or release new videos. I upload every week, multiple times. So yeah, it'll be good to have you along. So this video is more of a how-to type video with one of the new features that eBay have introduced, which is called TerraPeak. And if you have been subscribed to me for any amount of time, you would have heard me mention TerraPeak before a couple of times. And not many people have heard of it, so I thought I'd take this opportunity to sit down and show you that eBay have integrated it into their website, what it is, who gets it, how it works, and what sort of things you might need it for. So as you may or may not know, with eBay, you can look at completed and sold listings that go back as far as 90 days. And you can't go any further than that, unfortunately. But TerraPeak basically can go back through a whole year, 365 days, which comes in very handy. You get a lot more search results with solds and also unsolds. It was a standalone third party website that you have to pay every month, but it's now partnered up with eBay. And as long as you are a business seller with a shop subscription, you get it for free within your monthly cost. So unfortunately, if you are a private seller or a business seller, but without a shop, unfortunately you won't get it, but I think you can still pay per month. But if you're paying for that per month, you might as well upgrade to a shop. So where is it? How do you use it? And why would you use it? So you come onto your business seller hub that we all know or should be familiar with. Uh, currently, TerraPeak is being advertised as it is a new thing. But if you're watching this in the near future and it's not currently up there, you need to go up to research, top right hand side and TerraPeak product research. That'll then take you onto the main TerraPeak attachment page. So it's quite self-explanatory, but if you are a bit new to it or unfamiliar, I basically do a quick search. So say you wanted to see how a Monopoly game was doing. So say Monopoly Star Wars, for an example. You'd then choose what website has been sold on. So I'm based in the UK, so we'll go with UK. You can also choose and or like barcodes. So if you're sending a game or a book and it's got a barcode, you could scan that in or type that in. But we won't bother with that. We'll just do the title sold within the UK site. And then here you can choose your length of days. So obviously the last 90 days you can get on eBay anyway. But this is where therapy comes in. We can see through the past 365 and then simply hit research. It's loaded up everything. You now have all your information down here. Also, you can go on to active what is currently on the market, see your competition, how many watches they've got, when they were listed. So if you had a certain Monopoly Star Wars game, we could see down here, this guy down here, 26th of October, 2019. So that's been lingering for a while. It's got a watcher, but he is asking 200 pounds. So we could fob that one off. It's mint condition, but it's lingering. So that'll give you a good grasp of your competition if you have a unusual item or high competition item. But I use it mainly for solds, what things actually sell for. And here you can see all the different titles, the average sold prices, to total sold, like similar to these, total sales worth, and last date they were sold. They've got a lot more information obviously up here so you can get a grasp of the item over the past year or so. So what I mainly use it for personally is for rare, unique type items, something that won't come up sort of within the 90 days that eBay allow. So for example, I sold a soft toy. I think you'll know what it is. I sold a soft toy for £450, I think it was, it is on the channel. But yeah, he's a very rare item, hardly ever comes up on eBay. So if I was to search him up and get no results, I would be guessing I wasn't I wouldn't be too sure. So with TerraPeak, obviously going back a full year, highly more likely to get a hit and to see what sort of prices he might fetch or not fetch. So his name was My Pet Monster and his actual character name was Beastor, which was the important bit. So again, I'll search with the UK last three, six, five days, research and see what comes up. And here we can see there's only been four results, two of them which were my own, one of them didn't pay. Looks like there's three listings, two are only the actual toy and one of them was mine. And we can see when I sold him the first time, he sold for £361.26, uh, free postage, 24th of May, 2019. 
And like I said, he didn't actually pay, he or she didn't pay, which was quite lucky. Ended up being relisted and sold for an even higher price. And as you can see here, literally nearly bang on a month later, 26th of June 2019, sold him to the equivalent of £466.38 plus 35 postage. He went international. So if this wasn't my item and I did have another one, I would be able to see all this information and think, wow, I could get a very strong price for this. And if I was just searching on eBay, simply would research on eBay past 90 days. And we go, past 90 days, no search results found. So this is why Terrific is very, very handy. Just cast that net wider, so you're more likely to find the results to do better research. But again, if you want to search more than the UK, we can then just change the different sites. So obviously the biggest eBay site is .com. We try eBay.com for the past year and see what we fetch there. Hit research. And on .com, only two have sold in the past year. And one of them was very recent, 5th of April. And he went for £570, or the equivalent of, I guess that's in dollars. And then one went boxed 529 And that was February this year as well. So that's the main reason I use it for it's coming very, very handy. I've had a couple of rare things. I wasn't quite sure what to price it at. Not many search results or any at all. I hit up Terra Peak and I've got my search results. Casting that net wider. Lots more results, lots more research I can do. And it's helped me price things correctly. So I haven't overcharged or haven't missed out on a potential big item. There is also advanced search. So if I change this back to .co.uk, click on the advanced search and it has a drop down menu. You can then choose your different conditions. So you might just want to see new ones, used or pre-owned, refurbished, etc. You just choose the ones you want. So I'd want used, and then you might want to see the different prices. So with the Monopoly Star Wars again, if we type it in here, we just type in the Monopoly Star Wars again as an example, just a complete random example. On eBay.co.uk, last in a year, I want to know what used ones go for as an auction, for example research and then I can see everything all together through the past 365 days average sold price as an auction used item £7.45 but then we have got the individual listings as well so as we can see from the Monopoly Star Wars uh, I've done it date last sold so recently we've had the £12.50 sale 2 99 14 so I'm guessing there's more than one Star Wars Monopoly so you can delve right down into the specific year, special edition, narrow it right down so you can get a more accurate result basically. And then again, we've researched what they go for as auction, so we could then change it to fixed price, untick that, research again, and then see what this certain game or whatever item you have goes for as a fixed price buy it now. If we have a quick look, 12 99 18 so from that bit of research, average sold price £9.31, I'm more likely for this game to get a better price, sticking it up as a buy it now. And that's basically it. That's what I use it for. It's coming very, very handy and it's a free perk to go with a shop subscription that I'm paying for anyway. So yeah, a very handy tool. And if you have got it, make sure you use it. Hopefully this little video helps you out. Hopefully you do a bit of research, find some gems, helps you price different things. So not too high, too low, get the right price and get that sale. So that's basically everything. Hopefully it helped you out. Let me know in the comments down below if it did or if I've missed anything out. Uh, I'd appreciate the feedback. Hopefully it comes in handy for you and your sales. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. See you later.